With that information now firmly in hand, having to do with previous states of our Active Directory database, let's now go through the process we would need to to get the database actually backed up. This is something you probably already know how to do, so this may be kind of review. But all I want to show you here is the fact that on this server, I've already come through here, and if I go through the Add Rules and uh, Roles and Features wizard, I can go Next and then Next and come down here to take a look at the features to show you that the Windows Server Backup feature has been installed onto this machine. Now, this is an optional installation, but this is the native tool to be used for actually backing up not only the server, but also Active Directory on that server. And in fact, what I just want to show you here is if we bring up Windows Server Backup, I can show you that I've even done a backup on this machine already. But in order to accomplish a backup, the contents of the Active Directory need to be consolidated in a backup that includes all the files on disk, as well as what is called the system state data. And so that's been done here by this full backup that was accomplished not too long ago. If you wanted to create a new backup, you could do so by either scheduling the backup or by backing up just the server one time. And down here under Different Options, you can choose either the full server backup or a custom backup, where I just want to direct your attention here to not only the, the local disk, so the C drive here, which is the system volume, but also the system state information, which is uh, where also the contents of the Active Directory and all the other bits that make up the system state of this domain controller reside. You will require these to be as part of the backup in order to complete a restore then later on. Now, I've already gone through this process here, as you can see, and so I've created a backup that we can then later use in order to perform an Active Directory restore.